Hi, I am Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to write a C++ program in Eclipse Editor. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to write a C++ program in Eclipse Editor. In order to achieve the task, you should open Eclipse Editor. So just click on the Eclipse icon in order to open it. So when you click on the icon, it will ask for the workspace. What is a workspace? It's an area where we are going to store or where we are going to save all our outputs, program and everything. So if you want to change, you can change the location. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to click OK. So once you click OK, it will take you to an ID, the integrated development environment where we are going to work with. So now in order to create a C++ program, just go to File, New, C++ Project. Once again, I repeat the steps. Go to File, New, and C++ Project. When you click on C++ Project, a project window will be opened where you want to provide the file name. Let us say, Example 3. And click on Empty Project and click on MinGW GCC and click Finish. So now we are can able to see your project folder under Project Explorer. So now next step, right click on the project and go to New and then go to Source File. Once again I repeat the steps. So right click on the project folder, go to New and then go to Source File. Click on Source File. So when you click on Source File, it will take you to New Source File window where you want to provide the source file name. Let us say example 1 or example 3 dot cpp. What is cpp? It's an extension for C++. Okay, what is cpp? It's an extension for C++. cpp stands for C++. And click finish. When you click finish, you can see a window where we are going to write our program. So, we will start writing the program followed by a preprocessor ash, followed by the include keyword, followed by IO stream. So, what is IO stream? IO stands for input output stream. The next line using namespace standard. So what is a namespace? A namespace is a logical naming schema for grouping related classes. Once again, what is a namespace? A namespace is a logical naming schema for grouping related classes. And followed by the main function integer main. So what is the use of main function in a program? So main function is an entry point of a program. So the return type is integer, if you are using integer you want to return a value or a number. So here I am going to return 0. It's not mandatory you want to use 0, here you can use any integer number. And then I am going to display a message, see out, welcome to my session. Once you completed your program, just go to file save in order to save your file or in order to save your program and then you want to build the program so how to build the program just go to project where you can find the build project okay how to build the project go to project where you can find the build the project or else you can use the same it's a build project just build the project so now you can see there are no errors. So it means that program is good. So now go to run and where you can see runners and you can select the local application or else here you can see the run icon. Just click on the run icon. So where you can see the output welcome to my session. This is how you want to use an empty project in order to create a C++ program. I think you guys have enjoyed this session. Thanks for watching the session. Thank you.